Hey there, everyone. This is Yui. Welcome to episode 7 of All of Fabric 5. Today, we're going to get some of the very early part of Applied Energistics done. So, uh, let's just get to it. Uh, between episodes, uh, I've been doing a little bit of mining, actually. I went down... Way down here. And right... I can't even see it from here. Not uh, right there. I went down, found a giant cavern underneath. I am not used to the mining in, uh, what is this, 118? It uh, goes negative Y levels, and I really have no idea what I'm doing down there. I was just mining a bunch of stuff. I am processing some of it now. Uh, basically, I needed Sirtis Quartz. So I gathered that with Silk Touch, because otherwise you get dust right here but even uh, then if you throw it in the mace raider you still get dust but you have a chance to get the actual surges quartz so i was looking through this though and it looks like uh they did us a favor and they got rid of the pure stuff so previously you would have like the surges quartz crystal and then the pure surges quartz crystal but now it's just consolidated down into one which is pretty nice. So you can still double the dust, which is what you get. And I don't think you can. Oh, you can. Huh. Because when you craft that, you get two. So you technically only need one, and then you can continue to uh, duplicate it if you so choose. Do the same with the pure or the uh, flux. It looks like you can so uh, that's pretty nice actually and when you're out mining for the presses i've got them all they're still in the meteors uh they're surrounded by fluix blocks which is uh you know great so i don't actually need too much but i have zero nether quartz and i have a feeling i'm going to need it because uh well actually they have a silicon which is made with just Surtis Quartz. Yeah, okay. In case I need more, I should probably at some point go to the nether. So we're just going to quickly jump over there and see what it looks like. I'm going to grab a uh, few of these guys. Let's grab a front end steel. Do I have one? I do. But yeah, other than mining, uh, I've just been waiting, kind of. <laughs> Letting resources build up. Uh, this is down to two drills now. I'm getting tired of crafting that thing. Pull this stuff out, throw it in wherever it belongs. Uh, that goes in a compressor. Tungsten, I'm not actually sure. Nothing. Can't do nothing. So that'll go in here. All right, before we leave though, uh, I'm at the point where I can actually afford ender pearls. I can kill endermen. So when I find them, I do. I believe it's like this. Yeah, there we go. We can get a waystone. I've upgraded my dank knoll, which has been sitting in my backpack forever because I never used it because I haven't been mining. I've been doing that stuff instead. I've upgraded it to uh, the gold version. Not going to go to Emerald, because I don't have the Emeralds. Well, yeah, plus, uh, you know, I don't know if it's worth it. In theory, I can swap all these out for a Dank Knoll with a Docking Station. I am uh, not sure how well they work in my previous experience, at least with the Fluid one, is uh, they don't work as you would expect. So I'm just going to skip it. Uh, this, however, we can... Oh, uh, hey, yeah, I'll show it in a minute, I guess. We'll just uh, drop this somewhere out of the way. Or I don't really care. Uh, out this way is probably good enough. And uh, light her up. All right, let's go... Even though I technically don't need the inventory space, let's just drop this flint and steel off. 
So there's only a couple things I'm looking for in here, which is going to be uh, soul sand, I believe, uh, for lifting, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. And, uh, well, quartz, nether quartz. So uh, we'll see what is that on the side there. I can't see anything. Excuse me. Okay, well, green fire is completely new to me. Go for crystals. Oh. No. Maybe. I hate this stupid tag thing. I do need sulfur dust for stuff. Oh, what a crappy spawn. Holy smokes. Okay, great. So let's do a quick little one of these. Nether quartz, okay. We unlock a bunch of random uh, spectrum stuff. Weird, creepy noise. I heard that. I wonder if that's just ambient. And then let's check the uses on this to make sure we're not... Nothing. Okay, so no silk touch of that. Got it. Oh, so uh, this is the other thing. I don't know if I've ever shown this guy off after I gave him a saddle, but uh, he's like a horse. He's got step assist, right? But if you hold the jump and you're moving, you can actually fly. Oh, but if you stop moving, he'll start flying downward, which is I should actually set a waypoint, even though I have a thingy. So I use this guy to... Uh, Oh, that's not going to be very helpful, is it? <laughs> Brittle. <laughs> uh, good luck finding the Y level for that 42, but... So, I could fly around. I could collect, say, glowstone there. Whatever this is. Nope, nothing. I guess there's not a whole lot of spooky, crazy things in this one. I don't see mosquitoes flying out to eat my face off. I think it's relatively safe. Ow. Except I'm going to kill myself in suffocating through blocks. So, uh, let me just go around. I'm going to collect some stuff. Um, there's not a whole lot of... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a spawner. Ooh. Let's uh, land here for a second. Are you going to be... Go away. Well, yeah. I can't even hit it. <laughs> Whatever. Stay up there, then. He's... In. Oh, hello. So, uh... <laughs> a long time ago, I got that, uh... Generator which is for enchanted items. Uh, recently, I enchanted a rod because I was going to plan on doing some of the fishing just to check it out uh, with this arm. So, in theory, I can... Oh, they did not like that. But, but there you go. I can um, fuel enchanted swords. I guess it doesn't keep max durability like the uh, pillage used to do. But it doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go gathering some random junk and I'll be back. Well, before I get uh, too distracted and just uh, whatever, let's uh, keep going. I got back. I did not get a whole lot. I got 50. Yeah, just 50. But that's all right. No, it's, uh, can we actually... I didn't actually check this. We can... No. No. Because quartz doesn't have it. It does have one. Well, it's got that. Not the same dust, though. I was going to say, I wonder if there's the uh, seed for it. Nope, there isn't. Okay, they got rid of that. We could technically duplicate it there. 
But we're going to do some experimenting. I've got a couple gold plates here. Those plus this dust make some uh, cable. I have no idea if this cable will uh, pull from here. As 19.72, it does. Okay. Does not hold a lot, but it does pull from there. So, in theory, now in theory, that is, grab this and that, and I think redstone, maybe some gobble, some wood. I don't know. Uh, the rest of this episode is going to be kind of crafting some stuff up and experimenting a little bit to see what works. So I want to see if we can make... I don't care about the burnable generator, but there is this steam generator. Which just needs another piston and a couple buckets of water. Let's grab one of you. A couple of you. All right, steam generator. Now, if I throw you... Don't like it, but we'll just put it here. Let's connect up this fluid. Smart bench, are you empty? Yes. Going bag. Going bag also. Connect here. Connect here. Uh uh uh. No. What? That is, uh. Well, not what I was expecting. If I give it, say, a piece of coal. Maybe some water. is uh yeah okay well that's i guess that's doable it's not what i wanted though i was literally hoping a steam generator would run on steam and uh not make steam but okay I can always pump water in and uh, pipe in some, some fuel for it because that'll be more maintainable than the enchanted generator. But anyways, let's grab a few things here. We need, we're gonna need this inscriber at some point. I know that. Need the presses for it. Let's grab a, sure, a barrel. All right, you can go here. You can go here. Hold that stuff for me. We need an energy acceptor. Actually, let's grab this cobble gem first. Where is bucket number three? That is bucket number three. Never mind. Cobble gem, a chest, sure. Where is it? There we go, there's one. Cobble gen. Okay. Now, cobble gen, uh... Have your own inventory. Do you auto-export? No. That's fine. It doesn't need to. Not the fastest, but it's unlimited cobblestone. Can I put more in? No. So if I take it out, it's it's out. All right, let's pick that up. I've got two macerators here. I'm just going to go all over the place right now. Uh, let's drop them in the back. Um, here... Sure. 
I'm not convinced, but it'll work. Let's give it... Should be the other way first. No, that was right. You, get of you. Sneak right click, okay, here. Go sneak right click, and then let's put you here. Connect that. Go here, there, and going to be extract. Cobble. Insert cobble. Auto extract. But once you get power, this will grind cobble down into gravel. Gravel down into sand. And we'll need that later. Just connect all this up. Okay. Gravel. Sand. So we've got an unlimited supply of sand. Which is a, which is a start. My goal with that is to automate an endless supply of pure and not pure. I keep... Now I'm going to get all the names confused. Just Certus Quartz and Luix Quartz. Here. So, that's the goal with that. I'm just setting it up now so it has time to run to generate enough sand. So that way when I come back to it, it'll be good to go. So, that's cable. Generator tested. Macerator is done. That generator is done. Cobble gen is done. So a charger. We'll need a charger at some point. I don't know when, but we'll definitely need it. So let's craft it up and get it out of the way. Okay, done. Now, growth accelerator. Uh, we need quartz glass. In preparation of needing a ton of glass, I have started smelting five stacks of uh, sand. Because I know it's going to it's going to be needed. So let's make just a couple of these for now. So I need uh, six. So that's two, two, yes, four, six. Do I have the stuff? No, I don't. Uh, it's a little expensive. Don't want to use all this stuff up before I can duplicate it, but I kind of need this. Okay, uh, that is too sure. Um, yeah, that'll work for now. Okay, growth accelerator. We need six of them. Perfect. Uh, you can only use five, but what I like about this is if we go here, we'll get it. This gets out of the way. Um, nope, hit uses. 20 minutes. <laughs> Throw it in water, wait around for 20 minutes, and you get yourself a, a crystal. Uh, it tells you here the speeds, so if you add a one growth accelerator, it's uh, 10 times faster, and then it goes down to a minute, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 24 seconds, which is... Uh, Pretty good, but I'm going to go with the growth chamber just because it'll be easier for me to automate. So I need a hopper and a chest. And then, nope, you're done. Uh, it is this one. Growth chamber, this probably will not run. Let's get rid of that. Energy acceptor is next up. I need more glass, sure. Energy acceptor. All right. Boom. You uh, don't really tell me much of anything <laughs> at all. Okay, 
So we'll just drop that here. And anything, there's no sign for it at all. Okay. Let's grab... Just grab some sand. See how bad this is. One of them, one of those. That'll get us a seed. Is there... I should have checked in here if there are quests. Okay. Rate of apples. Uh, thank you. Don't care. Oh, oh, nope. Don't pin that. I don't care about that. All right. Charged. Let's charge it, I guess. There you go. Oh, that charges nice and quick. Okay. That's that quest. Uh, 16 Fluix, 1, 2, 3, 4, there you go, Energy Acceptor, there you go, what else, Controller we're not at, I admit I did, oh you're such a butt, oh well, I guess I'll do that later. Get these rewards though. Even though they're going to be disappointing. Oh, that one's good. Solar pan. Oh, hello, actually. What are you? Tech reborn generates basic energy. That's what these are. No, that's not what those are. Well, it connects. So if this runs out, I guess I will have some basic solar energy. Oh no. These things, they're quite annoying. Very annoying. And they just randomly spawn sometimes. Dehumidifier. Uh so an air conditioner. <laughs> Stops rain and oh, you need power. If not, then you can sit right there because I don't like seeing the rain particles all the time. Okay, food goes away, whatever. All right, in here. Uh, that is it's. Decently fast. It's probably not that 24 seconds fast. Uh, and we're, I'll do that off camera. It doesn't matter now. It's too late. I am past that. Smart cable. Uh, no, not yet. Controller. Okay. Let's get... Actually, it's a request for it. Where's the inscriber? There it is. We do I actually have slime? Uh, do you work? Uh, we'll find out. Let's see. No. Okay, let's grab that and that, and then go to head slime. Oh, this is why I want a storage system. I have gel, right? Gel is basically slime. Good enough. I need more of that. Okay. Inscriber, which we will not be using really. Uh, let's drop it. Okay, that's sand. Oh, I need a way to combine that. I did not think about that, did I? 
uh, which means I need uh, I have no idea dang okay there goes that idea because I guess I have to do create for that or botania well that'll be later keep this guy over here because in here if you just put the crystal in an inscriber you get the dust or I could use a macerator but I figured instead of using the steam I might as well just use the same energy so I guess that'll be for later then actually do you oh I shouldn't block that you do connect Then you maintain your power. Do some testing. Uh, it does not maintain its power. That's a shame. Go sleep real quick so we can test this out. I just want to get to the point where I can start grinding out all of the processors. Need a ton of them, and then next time we can get into making the actual storage system. So if I put you in here, it does work. Okay. That's good. That'll make the dust. So the idea will be combine that with the sand somehow. I guess I'm getting into create. Or I'll use the auto crafting. Ah. Mm, I'm not sure just yet. But do that. Throw it in there. Then pull them out and keep rinse and repeat, and you'll keep doubling. For the low, low cost of uh, whatever the power is to run the machines. Okay, grab that vector plate fast. Uh, okay, here you go. Let's go ahead. Make a controller. It's a disk. Let's just take a look here at applied disk. Nope. Drive. We're going to need one of them. And a, uh, to call the monitor. Terminal. Terminal. Basic. Terminal. So I can't help but notice you're not actually doing what you said. Need power? I'm not going to connect it up there because I don't want it to eat it. No, it does not need power. How do you work? Redstone signal? Ah. Yeah, yeah. Eat the rain. Is there a difference? Uh, I don't I don't know if it's doing anything because I still see the rain and it doesn't seem to be any less or more okay great stops rain slash snow particles in its surrounding clearly it's not but we'll just let it go. Maybe, maybe it takes time. Okay, what, what's next? Uh, drive, sure. Okay. I don't have many diamonds. So what I'm going to do right now is need to smelt up a few of the quartz. This will get silicon. Okay, so once we get silicon, 
for now I am going to do this the a or the uh, the manual way can't do it the lazy way because uh, I don't have enough inscribers and I don't know if I'm gonna make that many I need that plus calculation I think it's engineer it's engineer right yeah so that's that's going to be the process throw that in throw that in throw that in yep cook it up and i'm gonna have to rinse and repeat quite a bit in order to get enough drives for things I like, see, I like that we don't have to use the pure service quartz anymore, even though it technically is pure service quartz. It's just a little thing. Okay, that plus some sky stone. I do have sky stone. That's got to smelt up. I'm going to let that smelt up. I am going to make a little cut here. We're going to go all the way, I suppose, to just a basic system. So this will run a little long, but I'm going to get just the uh, bunch of processors up. So it's the same concept for all of them. And I'm going to make uh, here these guys. Not 16K, but I'm going to make a few 1K, maybe 1K drives. Because I don't have a lot of item, or I don't have a a large amount of any specific item. I just have a lot of items, and since these have a limit of 63 item types, I'm going to make the smaller ones for now and upgrade them later once I get a little bit further. So let me craft up a bunch of processors. This is going to be horribly boring. I'm just it's going to be a sitting game, so uh, I'll be back. I have no idea if I'm ready, but I am running low on time, so I figured I would uh, just go with it. So, I was looking at more of the generators, and there's this uh, scalding generator, which hopefully, if I am not mistaken, is going to consume a lava in order to generate power. Hour. Where did that piston go? I know I had one and I am totally blind. Oh, I have a bunch. Oh, I've been crafting them because I thought I needed them. But apparently not. All right, let's throw you down. I'm guessing this will work. So I'm going to drop this in the corner here. Got lava underneath it. I'll show you that in a second. Actually, let's just, I need to get under here. Uh, come on. I can't see it. And it's not gonna work if I pick it up, is it? Ah, uh, nope. Because why would it do that then? Nope, this one. And there. Okay, great. Power from lava. So, uh, I was notified in a comment by Daryl of... I don't remember what episode it was. When I was talking about, I have no idea what those dripstones are used for. And he said, uh, you can make an AFK lava farm out of them. So... I looked up what the AFK lava farm was, and it was, you know, the vanilla thing. But we're playing modded, which means we have access to some things that vanilla does not. So, here we go. I set this up. You can actually pipe lava out of cauldrons using these fluid pipes. I've already tested it. That's how uh, that lava's up there, because I used all my lava putting it here. And so this will, and there it goes, see it just generated one there and it spit it out and now it'll be up top. 
So in theory, in theory, we've got unlimited power. Now I might have to expand this. Uh, for now, there's 13 of them because uh, that's the chunk border there and I got tired of digging out room. But I can dig out some more this way, some that way, whatever, it doesn't matter. I've got room to expand it. I put this far enough down where I don't have to hear the noises from it, the ambient noises, because, you know, that'll drive me insane after a while. But that is generating lava, getting piped up into this tank, which is then getting extracted into this generator. I hope that's enough. So I'm going to move this energy acceptor. And uh, we're going to drop it here. So that should be good. I will deal with the controller later. I'm setting that up in a place that I want it to because, you know, like I said, I'm running low on time. But I've got all this junk here. So let's start with actually, here's the controller. Here is the disk drive. And then uh, that's a construction or destruction core thing and then these will be the parts for the terminal and this will be for the illuminated panel so i should be able to craft all that junk up illuminated panel term nope nope formation uh annihilation terminal we can upgrade that right away into crap. Wait, hang on. Aha, you almost had me. Almost had me. Okay, we're not upgrading it right away. We are making the disk drive. Okay, great. And now we will upgrade it. If I can find the right one. Perfect. The rest of this junk can go in there. And then for funsies, even though I'm not going to set it up right now because that's not needed, controller. It's just not needed yet. Got that. I believe I have a few cables left over somewhere in this giant mess. Okay, great. And since I can't see, we'll just do that. Grab those, that, and a couple cables. I'm sure. Turn that off. And then, uh, so connecting you to here. I should be able to drop this and it should work. Good. I've got one, <laughs> just one of those, but I have this junk in here. So this is for the one K storage drive and this is for the uh, housing. So I should be able to make all nine. Oh, and they stack for now, for now until I do this. Uh, this is weird because when you shift click items in here it'll mess up uh to fix that i believe you just pick anything up and put it down it will actually craft correctly though there we go we've got a full drive now we can start throwing stuff in here oh that is weird that is really weird Okay, I'm used to, so now it'll use this search bar instead of this search bar and link them together. Okay, that's, that's fine. But there we have it. <laughs> it's, it's pitiful. And now what I have to do now is I have to keep an eye on this lava to make sure that this doesn't drain this lava to nothing and just die and lose access to all the items. But that's a problem for me to watch over time. I just need to make sure that this actually fills up. If not, then I have to expand it down below. And in fact, let me... Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't need to. But that's it. I'm going to... Between episodes, I'm going to move all my items over. It's just going to be a boring process. So there's no point. And I'm going to put the... um. 
The items I have a lot of first, like the cobble and the sand. Because, uh, yeah, that'll go into the 16K drive instead of filling up a 1K drive. But we have a storage system, which means we have access to auto crafting soon and external storages and all the goodness that comes with it. Which is what I really want to get into. So, that's going to be it for this episode. I just wanted to get, you know, this started. We'll do auto crafting over time over a few episodes probably i imagine i don't know not sure but anyways uh if you made it this far thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time bye bye